Welcome to Tokyo, a city where ancient tradition meets modern day technology. Over the next seven days, we invite you to embark on an unforgettable journey through this vibrant capital of Japan. Tokyo offers an incredible blend of history, innovation, and gastronomy delight, making it a destination that caters to all interests and tastes. During our week long Tokyo adventure, we will explore the temple, skyscraper, markets, and trendy neighborhood. We will savor mouth watering food all while immersing ourselves in the unique customs and traditions of Japanese culture. From the serene garden of Meiji Shrine to the bustling street of Shinjuku and the tranquil waters of Sumida River, Tokyo's diverse landscape and experiences are sure to leave an indelible mark on your heart. This carefully curated itinerary will take you on a captivating journey through Tokyo's top attraction and hidden gems, allowing you to discover the city's many facets. Whether you're a foodie or simply a traveler in search of a new experience, Tokyo promises to exceed your expectation. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a week long of adventures, exploration and discovery in one of the world's most exhilarating cities. Your Tokyo experience begins now. Now this video will be broken into two parts and part two will be linked after it is released. So be sure to check that one out. If you're new to our channel, welcome. If you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing. As for the travel date, we are both traveling separately as I started my journey from Kuala Lumpur on ANA 787 Business Class while my wife is coming from the US on JAL Business Class. Both of our travel journey is up on our channel and we will link it here so that you can check those out at your leisure. Okay, we just arrived here in Tokyo. We're gonna go through immigration, then grab our bags, and then head on to our hotel. The immigration and custom took about 30 minutes and then caught the train to the hotel. We are staying at the Sheraton and we'll provide a full review of this hotel on our channel. But here is a room tour of our room. So welcome to our room tour here at the Sheraton. This room is small. So when you walk in here, you have the closet and in the closet, they give you two robes and then also comes with two slippers there. That's the iron. There's an iron board here. Uh, here, there's a couple of different buttons. One is for you to say, do not disturb. One is to make up your room. This is the light. As we walk by here, you have the hallway. And in the hallway, we're gonna go to the bathroom soon, but let's start off from here. From this side here, you have different glasses provided to you. And then you have a refrigerator. And inside this refrigerator, there's actually a bottle of water that is there. But these ones here, you actually have to pay for it. So it's, it's not a free one, so you have to pay for it. Uh, there's nothing else there. Apart from there, you have the recycling bin where you can actually uh, throw your trash and you can see it from here. On this side here, you have another drawer that's more like a tea drawer. So you do have coffee, tea, uh, different sorts of tea. So and then with the instruction on how to use the machine that is provided to you here. There's water, two bottle water. This is complimentary. If you need additional one, you have to get more. You have to pay for it. Uh, underneath here, you have also another water kettle if, if you need to uh, boil water to make the tea. So now here you do have uh, basically a place for you to put your luggage. And underneath there, you do have a safe. And then there's additional uh, sheets if you need it. And some information documentation there. Again, you can see that this is where you will put uh, the luggage up top there, or it can also be serving as a sitting area. On this side here of the main side of the living room, you do have a TV. Again, this is a really Japanese standard room. It's not that big, it's smaller. So you do have the TV here. And then on this side here, you do have some sort of air purifier or AC, I don't know. Uh, there's a table here for you to sit down. And you have a chair there as well. And as we move from this side here, you can see that we have the bed 
it's very tiny uh it's closer to there so if this is the this is the supposedly an upgrade to the king side uh, bed so i'm not sure how a regular size will look like if this is an upgrade uh, on this side here of the bed you do have a bible book of the mormon and i think a mirror for the side and you have a new testament right there as well you have a telephone you can use to call downstairs a note for you to write documentation on and then you have a watch there okay as i was saying if i didn't capture the previous one so in here you do have uh different plugs i really like the fact that you can just bring in any of these plug you can bring any of your devices and be able to plug in here without having to find a different an adapter or uh just another uh, plug to put in there so pretty cool and then you have different other buttons there which is a pretty cool feature so i like that all right, as you move on to this side here, you can start seeing uh, basically how the bedroom is set up, how it's laid out. So as you can see here, this is a king size bed. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, the one thing I like about this, is the ceilings are super high. It's a high ceiling, uh, which is good. It makes the room feel a little bit bigger, even though it's small. Let's move on to this side here. Now you do have actually a mirror right here so it's a long mirror it goes from ceiling to the floor uh, for you to be able to check yourself out when you get ready we're going to move over to this side here now right here you have the bathroom the bathroom is tiny but there's a couple of features here that we really like so you get the standard amenities you have cups you have towels over here so hand towels uh, hand towels and then bath uh, bathing towels and then you also do have right there the tissue and then we do have this huge mirror as well as you can see um, right there so it has a huge mirror so as you can see here you have some uh, body soap body lotion and then you have other stuff there so pretty cool concept in here they made sure that they provide you with all the with all the necessary kits that you need so many of the kits here we can see toothbrush uh, anything that you need for ladies razors you know mail brush all this stuff here so super cool very convenient uh sorry we talked about that already there's nothing there and then on the bottom here you can either store stuff or you can put there i think just for dirty uh, clothing and then this one is trash and then you also have hair dryer and then you have more towels here and then for the best thing, which is the feature, you do have a bidet. So I think this is like a standard thing for Japanese toilets. And then all the controllers are right here. And then here you do have the controllers for the shower and the lights that you can turn on. So you can come into the shower side. This is super cool. It feels like feel like I'm back in Africa where you actually have buckets um, to use for the, on the shower side. The tub is pretty nice, I like this tub. And then you have the shower stuff here. So this is the room tour. Um, so we will try to get the rest of the hotel as we stay here in the next few days in Tokyo. Let's get started with day one of adventures. Day one started with breakfast at the hotel before meeting with family who were also traveling with us. Good morning from beautiful Tokyo. This is day one. I know this is probably like the worst introduction ever, but I'm here in Tokyo walking the streets. I'm gonna go and enjoy the time visiting, get to see things around, meeting up with friends, family, and then my wife joins me later on today. Just got here from uh, Kuala Lumpur, and we're about to go and explore the city right now. Why don't you enjoy watching this video as we explore Tokyo, baby? Let's go. These elderly men are cleaning up their city, walking around, picking up any trash that they can find. This is what it means to be a great society. Just around like 
All right, we made it to Tokyo Tower. I'm here with photographer Emmanuel and Clara back there. Yeah, we meet again. When is the last place we were together? Vancouver. Vancouver. And now we're in Tokyo. North Carolina. North Carolina, you're right about that. For me. That Tokyo Tower. All right. All right, so we do have tickets to go to the Tokyo Tower, but it's at 1 p.m. So right now we're just killing time here until it's our time to go. So enjoying the beautiful seats. I'm here with the infamous Clara and Mr. Emmanuel right there. So you've seen them on our videos here and there, but they're super shy of cameras. Right now we're at the top deck. We should be able to see a lot more from the bottom. All the beautiful views of Tokyo. It's amazing. Definitely recommend it. Costs about $23 to get up top. So anyways, I just came from the market. I'm going back to my room. I'm going to get really night. Just got some stuff to eat for the night. And then tomorrow we'll see how day two goes. This is all the snacks I just got from the store. Since we're not having dinner out. So I got chicken wings and there's a 40 percent off got some sushi at 40 percent off hopefully it's good <clears throat> got a bento box for another 40 percent off and then i got some pork bun got some bread and then a little dessert as well so all this for about 15 bucks Morning. This is day two here in Tokyo. My wife finally joined me. Yay! We're happy, right? Excited to be here. So, right now, just walking, uh, just visiting market areas today. We got a packed day today, so we're gonna be doing that today. So, we're gonna show you guys exactly how our day is gonna go. Anyways, I hope you enjoy watching these segments here. And if you did, smack the like button, 
comment on that video and then subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Let's get going. The Americans are eating McDonald's while we we ate the Asian food. That's So yeah, we're just walking around the streets here, seeing some weird food, bizarre food, seeing some great interesting things as well. So yeah, initially it was completely dead, like around 10 o'clock-ish, and right now it is packed. A lot of people, and I know in the afternoon it's even going to get worse. So this is how Japan is now, now that they're open. There's a lot of people, a lot more people visiting it, so plan accordingly. some water activities. Right now we are at the Tokyo Sky or the Tokyo Sky Tree 
you can see back down there just everything it's just beautiful what an amazing city so being able to experience it from up here is just beautiful stunning We've just been marveling on how huge Tokyo is. So really, it is a huge city. You just never know. So coming up here at the Sky Tree, it gives you the perspective of how the city actually looks like. It's really, really amazing. And right now we are on the top floor where they're celebrating, sorry, they're celebrating the 100 year of Disney. So it is all Disney themed everywhere, which is super cool. So. Really nice.
Same as a ramen morning so today is day three here in Tokyo and we started off with breakfast right over there and then after that we're gonna go to the city and do some more exploring so let's go for day three I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, we're searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Right now we're in Shibuya area. We just had lunch here in Shibuya. And we also saw the Shibuya crossing, which 
it's an awesome experience to do so. Right now, just walking around, and then we're gonna be uh, finding basically just places to go. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to Pokemon Store, and then after that, we're gonna go enjoy some other places here in Tokyo. I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town We're searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air like a blazing flare Finishing up here in Tokyo. Now we're heading back into our hotel. We just took the train. And now we're gonna be exiting and then walking back to our hotel room. So it's pretty cool. This is one thing we like about Tokyo is that you can be able to move about the city just with uh, this the transportation system that they have here. So super cool. Thank you again for watching this video and if you enjoy, don't forget to smack the like button. 
And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Also, we will have part two of this video soon, so be sure to check that one out. Until then, see you on the next one.